of the world! So, just to kind of tell you guys now, yes, that's going to be my cute little intro, that little bit of music. Probably means I'm dancing, and I will try to start all my videos with Welcome to the World. Um, today, I have a new product I want to use. Um, I've used other colors in this line, I just haven't used this one, and I thought it would be kind of a bit of a look. So that's what we're going to do today, and we want to use the uh, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit and I have this, and I use this in other colors, but I've never done it in black. And I felt like trying it. So I figure why not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this today. I don't really know what we're going to do with the eyes just yet. Um, I'm thinking something kind of neutral with definitely a wing line. Um, but we will find out. So let's jump into it. Um, I am going to start with my primer for both my face and my eyes, because duh. And I am using the Mary Kay Foundation Primer. I do have another one I want to um, test out in here. I have it, I just, I, I haven't really used it in like a while um, and I kind of want to give it another try because when I used it last the reason I stopped using it is because I was having difficulties with my skin because uh, hormonal changes and all of that and I haven't really tried it since I've gotten my skin back under control so one of these days we will give it a try and see how we feel about it. One of these days is not today. And I've got my train case out and I absolutely love having this out just like sitting right here. Um, nice, quick, easy to get to. I don't know yet if I'm going to do lashes. I do have them in here on a tray. I haven't gotten that far. We'll figure that out when we get there. But what we're going to go ahead and do first, what we always do first is our eyes. And I will link the products in the description below just because I'm trying to do this a little bit quickly um, just so I can try and get my videos to be not an hour long every time after editing. So if I don't mention everything, that is why. We're taking this top transition color and this second color. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Nude Palette. And we're going to go ahead and just pop that in the crease. Kind of make a little bit of a shape out of it. Not too much, just a little bit. And then we're going to use the darker transition color down here at the bottom to try and deepen up that outer corner a bit. We're going with a very, very basic eye today, guys. Oh, that really darkens up. Okay, we gotta blend that out a lot. That was not my way. Well, this just turned into a smoky eye. I can hear my cat getting up for some reason. Okay, we're going to grab this lightest shade and try and fix this a little bit. So I've used this palette a little bit. I haven't used it like too, too much. And it might partially be user error. But I feel like it, it's a, I don't know. I don't know, like, definitely, I feel like some of the colors are more pigmented than others. Oh, wow, okay, we need to fix that. I went from being not enough to being too much, and now I look like I've got a black eye. Okay. 
You're just gonna like try and blend that out a bit. I think I need to sparkle this up a bit. So we don't really have anything super sparkly. Well, we're gonna take this, ooh, this kind of dark sparkly, put it just like a couple of taps and a swipe. We're gonna put it in the outer corner, try and sparkle it up a bit. Okay, not a whole lot of sparkle on that. Perhaps it's because there's so much dark on there already, but there's, it's adding some dark brown, but not really any sparkle, but that's okay. We got it to kind of do what we needed it to do. We got it to create the shape we wanted, and now we're going to go in with a lighter color. We're going to just kind of combine these three colors and like paint it all over. Uh, I know it's not going to lighten it up a lot, but hopefully it'll lighten it up a bit or at least give us a look. pigment off our brush. Actually, we're just going to go in with a clean brush. We're just going to go in with our baby floofer, the color charge, and the white. We're going to apply some of that and see how we feel about that. Just because I really want to use this again, guys. Ooh, okay, we're going to put that all over. There we go. A little bit better. Definitely a dirty floofer now. So, woo -hoo -hoo. I just threw my lid. Grab it in a second. And then we're just gonna go in with the City Mini palette real quick with this super light color here. Because I know it's a lifesaver. Pack it up on both sides of the brush and then just kind of cut out the top of that eye shape. Whether or not that's actually going to do what I want it to is yet to be seen. And then just take whatever product is left on your floofer because your floofer has picked up a lot of product by now and just kind of run that under your eyes. I'm going to Pop off camera real quick, put on my foundation so we can decide what kind of eyeliner we want to do. Okay, I'm back. I've been thinking about it, and I think I want to keep it really simple and classy, so I'm going to do a wing. Um, I don't know how big the wing's going to be yet, but we're going to do a wing. Um, I kept the rest of my face pretty simple. Um, I don't even have really blush on. Let me blend in more. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do liner real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I decided not to do lashes. I did my eye while I was gone. I did my eyeliner. I put on mascara. I did my eyebrows because I realized I didn't have any eyebrows on. Uh, this little eyebrow is being a pesky little devil today. I realized I shaped it wrong, so I'm gonna have to go and reshape it when I get done. But for the meantime, I am seriously sitting here, sisters, not twin sisters, not twin sisters, not twins, and I realize they look like a patch stroke because this one's all nice and pretty and perky, and this one's like. I'm here. I showed up. That's the thing, right? So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to open up and use the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. Uh, this is So Noir Cool. Now, guys, I love black lips. Um, I don't wear them very often because I have yet to find a formula for a black lippy that I like. Um, I used to wear them all the time. And 
I don't even remember what happened to the product I was using or why I stopped. Um, I just remember, I, I just clearly, I stopped. Um, I think the product I used got discontinued or something like that. And I just kind of went more of less of a out there wow look to more of like a natural glam look. So I think today is like a little bit of a combination of both. So we're going to go ahead and pop on our lippy. Um, because I am an, I forever insist on using lip liner. I don't have a black lip liner, so I'm actually going to use a pencil eyeliner to line my lips. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last in black. And you got to be really careful when you're using eyeliner to line your lips, especially when it's black, because it's black. But if it's there, it's a pain to get off. So, two seconds. And the key when using black is to go very, very lightly because you can always darken it. You cannot take it away very easily. I'm underlining my lips just a little bit. This side is off, so I need to make this side a little bit taller. Okay, I realize it looks really funny right now. Once I get it filled in, hopefully it'll look less funny. Where's my lid? And we're not going to fill our lips with the eyeliner because I want to see how the pigment on this does on its own. Um, ooh, you guys, that is real dark. Good. I'm going to do my lower lip first because that's when I always have difficulty with. Ooh. Ooh. it's a bit thinner than I expected it to be like when you first take it out it looks like it's gonna be like super thick and glossy it's a bit thinner oh and it transfers down kind of see-through so it's gonna definitely take a couple of layers I'm trying to get it to mat down is not why is this isn't this a matte matte lipstick why aren't you matting down okay I need to stop touching it because the more I touch it the more it gets effed up um so we're just going to give it a couple seconds to matte down before it mats down the consistency it really reminds me of um like the formula really reminds me of the NYX butter glosses which used to be one of my absolute favorites. I'm just, I'm not a gloss girl because my hair sticks to it and my lips stick together and I can't stand that like sticky feeling. Okay, there we go. Now it's matting down. It just takes a couple of seconds. Okay, while you're waiting for it to mat down, it is a little bit sticky, but it, um, ooh. Why is it always this side that gets effed up? Why? We're going to try and fix it with a little bit of concealer, but because it's black, I don't know if my concealer strip will work. Okay, guys, so that is the look. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I'm not mad at the uh, lipstick. It's not the exact same formula as, like, if I can get a hold of them. For example, this liquid catsuit matte, this nude one is, I don't know if it's just more pigmented or what, but like this takes one swipe and my lips are good. This I actually had to build up, which is weird because it's the same brand. I'm not mad at it though. Like I'm used to having to build a black lipstick. I haven't worn a black lip look in years and I'm having a hard time remembering why. Um, it is still like if you press your lips together and pull them apart, there is still a little bit of stick, but not bad. Not so, not so much so that it's annoyingly noticeable. And so this is going to go right into my kit. So that's definitely one that I will keep on hand. Um, if you tell me what you think about this, like 
if you guys have a black lipstick that you like better, let me know because I am, I think I'm going to kind of look for a black lippy to use. Um, cause I don't, I don't mind the look. I did also, again today, use the uh, Revlon Color Charge. Um, it ended up kind of being pointless to use it because then I covered it up. So, But we do still love these. So that stays in the kit. Let me know what you guys thought about this. I will link all of the products down in the description. So if you want to find them, um, I will... I got this at the Dollar Tree, but I'll see if I can find a link for it directly from Revlon's site. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I will try. If not, I will link the Dollar Tree link. Um, none of these links are affiliate links. I'm not sponsored in any way. This is all makeup that I bought with my own money just so I can be 100% transparent. Um, I'm not being paid to do this at all. I just wanted to play with some makeup. So on that note, it was wonderful chatting with you guys. I hope you had fun popping in for some randomness. Um, my brain froze. I apparently need more coffee. Oh, you guys keep an eye on my Instagram and my Twitter because I'm thinking about doing kind of a crazy thing. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm chatting with a couple of friends about it, chatting with my husband about it. But if it happens, you'll probably get sneak peeks, updates, and like playthroughs there first. Also, um, I got a Facebook page set up to go with this channel, like an actual page page. Um, and so I will put that link in my description as well. And I'll go link it over on my profile so that you guys can go follow me there if you'd like. Or maybe that brought you here, in which case, welcome to the world. <laughs> uh, so it was wonderful chatting with you guys. It was wonderful to spend some time with you. Thanks for stopping in to spend some time with me. I hope everybody's staying happy, staying healthy. Remember, be kind to yourself. Be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in the world. And especially right now when everybody's worried about everything, a smile is infectious. Bye.